Lately I've been thinking, what's my purpose in life? Ever since Halloween began, I've always seemed to put everyone else first, and I thought I was starting to lose myself along the way. I dyed my hair dark, I turned 20 years old, I started to take my anger out on random people who display happiness in public. I think I was having a midlife crisis. But then one night as I was watching Riverdale trying to cheer myself up due to the fact that the poor cast is still trapped in some god-awful contract keeping them binded to the frightening horrors that is the Riverdale script and I'm not, I got a message. Tyrell, I am filming this video to let you know how much you changed my life after surprising me last year in person due to my finger crushing pussy. I got inspired and I decided to go and see a vaginal therapist and now I have men coming over every night with no penis pain whatsoever. You are a lifesaver Tyrell, I can't thank you enough. After that video, my whole trajectory changed. I realized that by giving these troubled donkey fans my kind gifts that I buy with my assistant's paycheck deductions, inspire them to change the awful features about themselves and become more hot like me. I truly change their lives. And in that moment, I refound my purpose. Being so selfless to the armpits of America who need it most, it's what I'm best at. So I immediately got back to work. This hen's claw for Ben. Oh my god, oh my god, it's here, it's here. Oh my god. I'm just gonna go to the store and then get a couple of things that I'm gonna put to your house. Um, I gotta go. This, this, this is almost as good as Britney Spears' holy birthday. <laughs> has my name on it. <laughs> I, I might as well just like keep this forever and like put it down to someone that I love and my will because like what else could I give them that's better than this? Ben! <laughs> I also got a letter addressed to me. I. Dear Meredith, I heard it was your birthday this weekend. I hope that when you blow out your candles, you wish for a less mediocre lifestyle. Manifest, baby. Happy Tyra Lane. <gasps> Ben. Oh my gosh. Dear Connor, put this frame on your nightstand and wake up every morning feeling inspired to change your dramatically substandard day-to-day -day life to be more like mine. Happy Tyrell Halloween. I hope this deceased hands claw inspires you to get a manicure because your nails are totally vulgar. No, really, I can see the dirt from miles away. Dear Porter, this bloody sack shall bring you some thrill into your dull 4x4 dungeon that you call a living space. He's acknowledging that I have a house. The Tyrell Martinson, the king of Halloween, knows my name. Look at his handwriting. Fabulous. I'll never, ever need anything else again. A little red. How do you know that was my favorite color? He painted it my favorite color! Rachel, I've gifted you this headless doll to show you how brainless you actually are. Literally, a headless chicken could be trotting across the street, and anyone walking by wouldn't know the difference between you or the chicken. Please take any instructional course to help your brain grow. Love ya. Happy Tyrell Halloween. <laughs> the way he just knows me so well. Oh my god. Sock. How did he know I didn't have any socks? He's so perfect. I love him. It's like we're best friends. <gasps> he got me something that looks exactly like me. Short, stubby, no brain. No brain, no brain. For the very first Halloween, there was this girl from Vancouver who always looked super frumpy on Instagram and I was like, oh my god, I'll send her this dried up branch that I found in the gas station parking lot to inspire her to get some new, more moisturizing skincare products for her very visibly dead skin to make her feel less frumpy. Nope, sent the branch. And do you want to know what happened? Canada sent the branch right back. Like I did this super nice gesture and got absolutely nothing out of it. And then during last year's national holiday, Frank Ocean decided to cause COVID because he didn't want to headline Coachella. And yet again, I wasn't able to give this poor dry girl my kind gift. Apparently God really doesn't want this crispy Sahara desert chick to have a flourishing glow. Well, this Halloween is different. I'm gonna cross the border myself to personally deliver the branch to show the shriveled up raisin sized brain hags at the post office that I don't need them to accomplish my tasks for me. Andrea! It's all about you. It's all about 
Tyrell. Thank you so much for these amazing gifts. I could literally never want anything else again in my entire life. Thank you, Tyrell. Thank you. Thank you, Tyrell. Thanks, Tyrell. This is gonna go up on my room by all my collections of Harry Styles things. Happy Tyrell. 